Hi, you guys. We're here back. We're here again, back with Let's Get Greedy. This is my girl Nikki Sunshine, and I'm Danielle Carrington, and we're here at Astro Cafe in a, in a neighborhood cafe here in Harlem on 130th Street and Lenox Avenue. This cafe is a welcome addition to a place that pretty much offered fried chicken, McDonald's, fast food. Hey. So what do we have here today? Today we have three different type of empanadas. We have a vegetable empanada, chicken empanada, and a cheese empanada with a spicy mayonnaise sauce. Wonderful. Okay, which sister, which one are you gonna get, girl? You, I, I don't wanna try the chorizo one. All right, I'm gonna go for cheese. Love cheese. And then don't forget about the um, sauce, if you wanna put a little sauce on it. Mm. This chorizo empanada, it reminds me of like a pig in a blanket. If you don't know what chorizo is, it's a Spanish sausage. Mm. And it's got a really nice, mm. smoky, aged mm. flavor to it. It's great. It's pork. Pork sausage. Oh my God. And I have, I, I did the cheese empanada, which has a sharp, sharp white cheddar inside of it with some mozzarella. So Ooh, good. Oh, I love sharp cheddar. Yeah. I can taste their sharpness. It had that bite to it when, had that bite to it when I bent into it. Mm. And I put some of that mayonnaise with it. Ooh, the mayonnaise is spicy. I told you. It's delicious. Mmm. And it's very flaky. You can tell this is a homemade crust. This is really good. But it's not healthy. Mm. I can taste the grease in this crust. And I like it. Also, I'm, gonna I'm, try a dirt, I'm a dirty, 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 greedy girl. You know. I love grease. Oh, I'm gonna try the chicken one as well. Look at all, we got a lot of hearty meat in there. They don't be stingy with no meat now. A lot of plump, don't juicy be, chicken. Don't be stingy with your meat. Don't be stingy. If you're with gonna your make an a, a, a empanada or a meat pie, don't be stingy, because if you wanna be stingy, keep it to yourself. Okay, and keep your, keep your mouth to yourself, because I don't want you spitting all over my food. Okay. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Chicken empanada. Good. Very tasty. I can't believe you can get food of this caliber mm. at a coffee shop. Because sure. normally coffee shops just have like muffins and like biscotti and stuff like that. But you're getting an added bonus here if you're hungry to get some really quality food. This is homemade food. It is homemade. This isn't anything that they swap together. This is something they put love in. And the thing is, the kitchen isn't even that big. It's not that big. They got one guy in there doing a lot of, putting a lot of love in this. And food. he's break dancing at the same time <laughs> while he's putting these in the deep fryer. Also dealing with the chicken empanada, they put plump, juicy, big white breast meat. I've mm -hmm. never seen chicken so white. Look at that. This is, this is Ku Klux Klan white. Oh, that's God. how white this chicken is. Oh God, I, I, that's not, that's, I don't know if I should eat it then. You it's should eat it. Eat them no, up. No, I'm not eat gonna it do up. it. Eat that racist chicken. Eat that racist chicken. Eat that racist chicken. How it tastes? Delicious. It tastes delicious? I feel guilty now for eating this racist chicken. You don't feel guilty. You never feel guilty when you this get This flavor, this is not a racist chicken. This is some good, delicious chicken. I'm gonna wash. Here, Esteron. Esteron. I'm gonna wash my chorizo flavored empanada down with this watermelon lemonade. It doesn't have vodka in it, but you know. We gotta toast. Love you, sister. To be ingredient. And I'm, I'm not gonna stop. Oh, that's good after a long day, girl. Oh my God, you see wow. that, that watermelon at the bottom? Mm -mm. I never tasted anything like this. It actually tastes like watermelon juice. Mm. You know, after you eat the watermelon, it tastes like they took a whole bunch of watermelon juice and mixed it. It's sweet. Mm. It's very refreshing. It, it's like, it, it's really hot outside. It's like 80 degrees out here in, North, in New York City. And this freshly squeezed watermelon lemonade, it's it so nice. refreshing. It's this not too bitter. It doesn't have like a lemony taste. Fresh. It tastes like watermelon juice. It's yeah, really good. It I does. never taste anything like it. It's good. It's like you're sitting on a patio in your yard picking out. This is the type of thing you make. Watermelon lemonade. Beautiful. Mm. Now, now guys, we're going to try the lobster roll to let you guys know how it is. Give us one second. Okay, guys, we're back. Still at Astero. We're, gonna, we're about to try the lobster roll. Fresh lobster roll salad on a nice, it seems like a sweet roll. Almost like a Hawaiian roll, but a nice sweet roll. It looks like lobster salad. Yeah. Like when you put like 
um, like celery yeah. and mayonnaise and stuff and mix the lobster a little bit in of, that. A little bit of shallots, maybe. And also it comes with a beautiful nice of a garden salad with tomatoes and some kind of um, vinaigrette dressing. Okay? Balsamic. Yeah. Balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to cut it in half so me and my sister can try it. Mmm, smells good. This would be perfect for like a picnic. Look at that. But if you take this on a picnic, you gotta. Ooh, oh, and the bread is like a nice. Like a sweet Hawaiian bread almost. Ooh, yeah. Like a sweet Hawaiian bread almost. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. I think so. I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's go. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Look. It's like the lobster was just caught this morning. That's how fresh it is. It's fresh. And like I said, it has like little diced onions inside. It's not too salty. Yeah. Not too much mayonnaise. The mayonnaise just holds everything together. And the bread is nice and buttery, isn't oh, it's it? It's so buttery and soft. It's, it's sweet soft. Bread. Mm. This is really amazing. It's good. I like it. I'm going to just put this salad. I will order it again. I don't want no damn salad. Well, I'm Today's my cheat day. I eat salad every day. Well, you cheat every day. I do. I do. That salad good. You know, have you ever eaten food so good? You gotta stop and ponder about what it is that you're feeling inside your mouth. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm feeling celery, happy. onion, lobster, mayonnaise, sweet bread. Mm. I'm I'm having a philosophy class right now on this lobster roll inside my brain. Feeling happy, 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 and happy because it's good. Well, let's get greedy. Tune in next week or tune in every single week. Tune into our show at Let's Get Greedy at YouTube.com to check out our greedy antics because we get greedy, y'all. And follow us at Let's Get Greedy. Instagram, baby.